How you doing tonight? I'm Brian, game design major. Tonight we're going to be going over a Death Stranding. Death Stranding is the game that I chose for my game critique. Uh, I've been wanting to play it for a very long time. Um, just never really wanted to spend the money, and it finally came available on, I think it was Epic, during their uh, 12 Days of Christmas or whatever. So I figured I'd pick it up in perfect timing, honestly, because it popped up as soon as we were doing this game critique. So... I'm going to start playing a little bit of the game. I'm going to go over some of the things I like, dislike about it, what I think they should change, and why I think they should change them. So let's get into it. All right. So I've played about five hours of this game, six hours of this game. I'm still kind of stuck in the, not the beginning of the game. Hang on. Let me do this. I'm kind of stuck still in the beginning of the game, not too much, because I've kind of just walked around, um, experienced some of the aspects of the game, looked at some of the visuals, looked at some of the... Just to kind of see how they overall created the game. Um, some of my gripes that I have about this game in the beginning is the walking. So towards the middle of the game, in the end, you'll unlock a vehicle to cruise around in but other than that you're legitimately walking 95 percent of the time um the graphics are amazing i'm not running them at full spec on my computer just because i generally stream this game too so i don't want to crash my computer um but as you can tell even in medium graphics it's still gorgeous you could generally see most of the most of the grass. Sorry, making sure. Um, see the individual specks of the grass. The layout of it is amazing. Um, even though you're walking everywhere, the layout's amazing. You can climb up. I would say 95% of the rocks, if not 100% of them, with it. Um, Especially with the, oops, didn't, didn't mean to run in there. The DBs and the, uh, your enemies. So your DB is this thing on the front. You can't really tell what I'm looking at, but it's that little canister on the front. The, sorry, got sidetracked. The, uh, the graphics for it are amazing. Even with the, how small and intricate it was, it, it's gorgeous. All these little specks flying up in the sky are amazing. Once you get over to the bad guys, which should probably be here in a second, because I know there's a farm over here. But, yeah, I would say my biggest gripe about this game is just the walking everywhere. It's just a pain. But I will admit, when it comes to the walking, they did make it amazing. Like, they made your balance actual. So if you're if you're running and you stumble over a rock, I don't have anything on my back right now to help me do it. But you'll, you'll sway back and forth and you'll have to catch your balance. All of the water, when you... Excuse me. When you, uh... Ah, shit. Sorry, I went in the enemy territory. Didn't, didn't really want to do that, but... I don't know why it's not letting me do what I need to do. Oh, well. But even even the water graphics, the mechanics of the water are amazing. Uh, you can scan for it, and it will show you exactly where the current is heavier or lighter. Um... Even the rain, like look at the look at the rain. You can see the individual rain droplets, which is made me so happy. Oops. On the back, you can see I I keep pointing at the screen, like you guys can see what I'm pointing at. But if you look at the back of the backpack, you can kind of see the little specks coming off. That's the rusting of the the canisters. So. I hope you guys enjoyed what I liked and disliked about it. There's not much about this game that I dislike. There's a lot that I really like. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my game critique. 
I hope you have a good night.